Hi everyone. It's me. My name is Claire Taylor and I make um, dolls. <laughs> that sounds strange. Okay, I'm Claire Taylor and I make dolls. But the type of dolls I make I think are very special because I sculpt the dolls, I mold the dolls, I paint them, I pour them, I paint them, I do their hair, I do everything from start to finish. The only thing I don't make is their clothing, but I do have them custom made for them. So I do everything from scratch to make these dolls. And these dolls are unique to me only. This is a limited edition, a limited doll edition. There will only be five. This is Courtney. And there will only be five made if I complete the edition. If the mold gets damaged before five are made, then the edition will be smaller. But for now, it usually works out. So a limited edition of five, only five will ever be made. I get lots of emails all the time asking me if I will make another one of a doll that's sold out. No, sold out means I'm done with the edition and I won't be making any more. So I'm... Um, I always forget to say this, but um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please um, subscribe. And it would be nice if you would share my videos with your auto doll friends and you would subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can get a notification whenever I make a video. Okay, now that said, back to Courtney. I made a video the other day that was more fun and then I got um, requests asking you know this about the doll, that about the doll, the features. So I decided to do another video and show you some of her features so that you can um, know more about her. So this is Courtney. And she's the first new doll edition I've made this year. So um, she is very, she has very nice details. And I don't know how well you can see, but she even has little milk bumps on her nose milk spots. You usually see that in in um, reborn dolls. Um, she has a little cowlick here. She has a little twirl here. Twirl, swirl. Um, this is this is how the hair looks from the back. So it's directionally rooted. Her name is on the back of the doll here, and her number, number one, is behind her ear. Um, now, Courtney, let me read, she takes a full pacifier. <laughs> I put it there to remind me to, to tell you that. And she can take a full bottle. So she can take a bottle also. Okay, so that's the bottle and the arm. Um, she can do a little sucky lip thing, you know, both ways. Where I, I'm not that good at doing it, but let me see. <laughs> she can do it both ways where she sucks on her lip. And um, she has a skull. So if you look, I'm pressing fairly hard here. And you can see the skin on top is soft, but over here, if I put that same pressure, you see her cheeks are very soft. That's one of her features, okay? She has a soft spot at the top, so you can feel the skull, and right here is very soft, and there's a little one back here too, but it's not as easy to feel. Okay. Um, this is a little outfit that she will come with that has is custom embroidered 
with our little theme, a little turtle. And um, I'll undress her so you can see more of her. I figured it was easier for me to just make a video because hopefully everybody watches them. <laughs> Okay, so let me remove that gown. She also has a little newborn t-shirt that um, has her little theme design on it. She also has the diaper cover. And um... She's very, very um, posable. So, oh, I didn't show you her hands. Her hands, her hands have elbow armatures, so they can go up. I think that's very cute when she lays like that. They can go off to the side. And they bend and she also has it in the wrist also so her wrists bend okay um, yeah, let me let me remove her shirt so you can see she has a soft tummy but not too soft because I wanted her to keep her her shape well so you can see it's very soft but not too soft. Her chest is firmer and um, her neck she has a soft neck that turns from side to side easily. She is an anatomically correct girl I don't want to make this video too long, <laughs> but her her neck turns from side to side easily so that when she's laying on her tummy, her face doesn't go straight down in the blankets like that. You know, some dolls, their head doesn't turn well. Her head turns, so she um, she can be posed well. She has a spine, and you can feel it. I don't know if you would be able to see it, and it goes all the way down from here up into her neck. It doesn't um, affect the way she moves. She's still very flexible. I'll have to show you from a different angle, but you can see she, she bends. I don't sculpt many wrinkles. in the doll because I feel that when she moves she will wrinkle naturally see here she wrinkles and I don't know if you can see the spine but it's right there you can it's more to be felt than to be seen because it feels nice when you hold the doll. I don't know if you can see her little milk bumps or not. I won't be able to see it until I look at the video. She, um, if I put her like this, you can see how she bends. Not too much, not too little. And you can see the way her head moves.
and from the um how it moves falls back it doesn't fall back too far her head goes to her chest so somebody asked me if her legs because she has support in the legs if her legs will dangle yes they will Courtney weighs approximately eight pounds, so she's not too heavy. And um, her hair is directionally rooted. This is dark brown hair. At least that's what it said. <laughs> it's dark brown. And um. As I was saying, she has armatures, elbow armatures down to her. It's, it's elbow armatures and wrist armatures, I guess, but she doesn't have any in the shoulder, so her shoulder can move freely. I used to have this on my dolls a few years ago. Zoe, Janica, even a cloth body I had named Stephanie, she had one. You know, someone asked me, why don't you put that? So I put this on it. Um, this doll has no drinking wet. So, um, since I forgot to mention this, <laughs> I'll just review the features in case I forgot any. She has a skull. Her skull has two soft spots. Open mouth. Um, let's see if I can get her her to open her mouth so you can see her tongue her tongue is you know like separated in there I don't know if you can see that it moves up and down she has very defined gums And this is what she looks like with the umbilical stump without you can choose to use it or not I wanted to show the flexibility in posing her. Her legs go up like that. So, not that most babies would be like that. You'd probably like them more like that. Or like that. But she doesn't just stay in a straight position. Her, you know, some dolls you can put their legs up like that but then it goes back down hers will actually stay so she has more more flexibility for positioning and she falls in a natural position like if i was going to if i was going to lay her down and I put her legs like this they just fall into a natural position and then I can pose her very easy to pose I can pull her legs out like that Put her arms forward, straight, or just like that. So, you can also lift her up, tuck her legs in, 
and then she is like that. <laughs> So that's Courtney. So let me see if I can show you her details, like her fingernails. If you look at her scalp, we see the mottling on her scalp and their veins there too. Okay, it's coming in now. They're very neatly manicured. Her little toes. I'm so sorry for the bad lighting. It's causing it not to work well to show the details. The soles of her feet. It's so, a little dark. Let me just... This video was supposed to show you some of her details and the camera wasn't cooperating because it was a little dark. It was a little overcast. I did the video late and um, had problems with the focusing. But um, thanks for watching the video till the end. And I really think her milk bumps are cute. <laughs> but... Um, I couldn't really get the camera to cooperate. Thanks to all of you that watched the video all the way to the end and um, visit my website. I'll leave a link below and you can see more pictures of Courtney and um, her, all of her information. There are tons of pictures on my website. Just click the link below. Thank you so much watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos when I post more videos in the future.